We're down here in Seattle, the home to Starbucks coffee, and we're out here today to tell Starbucks to honor their commitment to Ethiopian coffee farmers. Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee, and millions of people depend on it for their livelihood. Some of the world's finest coffees come from Ethiopia. Ethiopian farmers receive an average of three cents per cup of coffee that Starbucks sells. People are speaking out today in countries all over the world, in cities all over the world, including London, Sydney, Australia, Addis Ababa, and Germany, and Ireland, and here in Seattle. We are Ethiopian Americans, and we fully support Ethiopia's step to trademark its coffee names. Yes, I think it's awful they only get three cents. I think they should get more than three cents. They should give them better prices and more money. We got together local fair trade activists and people from the Ethiopian community that are in support of improving the livelihood of Ethiopians, you know, one of the poorest countries in the world. I would urge Starbucks to respect this project and to help pass more profits down to the Ethiopian farmers. It's a great idea. Some people are walking by and they, they see the sign that says only three cents is going to the farmer. They don't realize that at the beginning of the supply chain, there's people that are getting almost nothing. Three cents is, is beyond an insult. The names are rightfully theirs and it's not up to Starbucks to stop the Ethiopians from having the opportunity to improve their, their way of life. I really didn't know this was really going on until now, but I think they should, and if they don't, I will not go there anymore. I will not be their customer any longer, and that is the truth. It seems phenomenal that the company who pride themselves on being uh, family friendly and uh, for the people could do something um, so shocking, really. They are not living up to their commitment. They are not standing by what they say they're about. If I had access to anybody on the Starbucks board, I'd say listen very carefully to what people are saying. It's not just here in Seattle, it's all over the world. Starbucks should pay them a little more. They can afford it. Here's a real opportunity to them to prove that, uh, you know, to prove they are what they say they are and to give the bean back to the people who own it. There's an opportunity here for one of the poorest countries in the world to actually use what is rightfully theirs, which is their name. And Starbucks is using their power to stand in the way of that. I think if everybody knows about it, the real issues, I think we can make it work. It has to be everybody. I really believe that if consumers come out, people who work for Star Starbucks come out and speak to this, Starbucks will sign the licensing agreement. What an excellent opportunity for them. What a, a really good uh, soundbite for someone to come out and say, actually, we recognize this is Ethiopia's and, and we're not going to take it away from them. Go to www.oxfamamerica.org slash Starbucks to take action now and tell your friends. The only thing missing is you!